Welcome to our next episode of the Twist Culture Podcast. We're here at the gallery today. Yay! With, <laughs> with Daniela, our artist of, of the month. And we're going to um, ask her questions about her extraordinary art and book and very interesting life. All right. <laughs> um, hello. How's it going? <laughs> it's nice to be here. Yes. We're, we're so glad you could make it all the way here. Um, as you usually live in Berlin, yes. you're here in Nashville now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I guess to begin with, um, how, how did this get connected? How, are you, how is it you're here having an art show in Nashville, Tennessee? Well, um, the way it happened that I could show here is that my uh, good friends JJ and Sabina, um, I wrote to them asking them if they knew of any interesting galleries in Nashville, because we would be here because Alexander's recording with um, Dwayne Dennison here, which is great. Hello. That's Alexander. Hello, how's it going? Hi, you little husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's recording, so I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I could exhibit here, and they recommended you, and mm -hmm. so you answered, and it happened. Yay! Incredibly, it seemed like a dream, and I'm really, really happy it happened. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, we're happy you're here, too. Um, now, you brought a book with you, not just an art show, but a book that's taken you years and years to write. Tell us, tell us about your book. Um, it's like you're at one of those real talk shows, and you, like, hold the book up, and... This is my book. Yes. And I wrote it <laughs> from 1995 to 2010. Oh. 15 oh. years oh of hard work. Gosh. Writing is harder than anything else. Harder yes. than music, more difficult than I think painting. It's crazy. <laughs> no wonder they all kill themselves. <laughs> no, I, I wrote it for 15 years and I started writing it after I had been living in Berlin for, 20, uh, for five, for seven years. And um, I thought, there's so many things that you forget that you thought you would never forget. Mm -hmm. So, and Berlin was in a big turmoil when I moved there because it was before the wall fell and mm -hmm. I experienced all of that. So I was like, I think I have to write my, my memories of that time. And because I'm a multimedia artist, I um, experienced the development of music, and art, and fashion, and culture in general there. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, it's going to be my personal story mixed with the story of Berlin's development. So that's basically it. So you, if you're interested in um, Berlin, and if you're interested in art and music and all these things in mm -hmm. Berlin, from the perspective of an American artist, then that's the book for you. <laughs> <laughs> and where on the internets can people find such a book and order it and bring it to their house? Well, you can actually order it on my homepage. Oh, which, which is? My homepage is www, and then it's my very long name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> DanieleDepicciotto.com. Good. So, Good. We will yeah. add that in in our show notes later on yes. the, the website. Yeah, it's on my website. Yes. Cool. And what, how did you end up in Berlin? Where, where are you from in the States? Um, well, I was, I'm from New York, mm -hmm. and um, I, my, oh, my father was in the Army, so I traveled a lot, but I ended up in New York. And then I went to Berlin to visit um, a friend for two weeks, from New York, basically, and um, I couldn't believe it, because Berlin was like New York, except it wasn't dangerous, it wasn't expensive, um, and what else? It wasn't dangerous, and it wasn't expensive, and it was... Um, there were as many artists and galleries there. Ah. It was like heaven. And everybody you met was a musician or an artist. And everything was, you know, I got an apartment for very, for 20 bucks, which is huge. So I just stayed. I didn't go back. <laughs> I just stayed. It that was, sounds was, really fun. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. And Berlin still is amazing. It still is really um, an interesting place to go and visit. It's not easy to survive there, I always tell people, because um, it's very creative, but there's not very much money to be earned there because everybody's an artist. Right. Everybody. <laughs> you know, the collectors are somewhere else. But it's good to go there and be inspired. Oh, that sounds really great. And how is it you became an artist? When did you decide? Sometimes it's when people are children, sometimes it's when they're older, but when did you decide you were an artist? Um, I think I was always an artist. I started playing, well, artist musician. I started playing the piano when I was four and violin when I was ten. And I, you know, I've always been doing art. But I never really, I don't know, 
I never really thought of what I wanted to become. Um, and when I finished school, a friend of mine was going to go apply at an art school. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to do. Although I was doing it all the time anyway. So I yeah. went along with her. And um, I was sitting there and this, she's like, she went in for her, for her interview. And then there was this teacher that came out and said, well, are you doing an interview? And I was like, not really. I'm just um, there for her. And she said, well, do you have anything of yours? And I was like, I only have... So I was accepted and she wasn't. Oh my gosh. So that's, oh, that's so neat. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it was decided. I guess me. so. <laughs> Fate. Fate. Yeah. So that's kind of how I officially started, I guess. Cool. And you travel quite a lot for both music and your art. I have a lot of friends who do the same thing, but it's always sort of mysterious to me. What is it like to 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 tour? Like what is what is you what is it how does it affect you? Like, you know? Um, well, Alexander and myself are now, um, we've been, <laughs> we've been nomads for two years. Ah. We had a house in Berlin which we gave up. Mm -hmm. um, because Berlin is so difficult to survive, we were like, our house is always empty because we're always touring. Yeah. And it doesn't really make sense to pay all the rent for a house that's empty. Mm -hmm. So we said, we're just going to become nomads and then travel until we've found a place that we can actually survive in the city itself and mm -hmm. don't have to travel all the time. You know, right. half the year is okay, but not all the time. Yeah, yeah. So we've been doing that for two years and it's very interesting. I mean, you really, it changes the complete perspective of everything. You know, it's kind of like learning how to live off of a suitcase, mm -hmm. learning how to pack for a year, and you can't take more than a suitcase nowadays when you're flying. Right. You know, so ha at the beginning for me that was, how do I decide what shoes to take? You know, it's, and Alex, you know, he's even more of a, of a clothes person than me. In the beginning he would take like 10 suits. It's like, oh, what are you doing? And he would have his studio, you know. But we've learned how to become very minimal, and you can nowadays with computers. Mm -hmm. You can do... You can have a whole film studio with you. You can have a whole music studio. You know, I um, I can do graphics, the, the computer basically, and then you can have a couple of um, good things to wear, or good shoes, and that's enough. And it really, you know, you're so used to having so much stuff when you're living somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that really changes when you become a nomad. Ah. And you kind of see, like, you know, there's certain things that are the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. which is interesting, and certain things which are different everywhere you go, and that you kind of get like an eagle's perspective of the world, which is is quite healthy, I find, for oneself, you know, it's kind of like back to the basics, I like it. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's next? Well, at the moment, actually, I'm writing a graphic novel on our travels. Awesome. So, it's going to probably be punished, uh, punished, published <laughs> next year. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a, a graphic novel in my style of drawing, but with the stories of how our nomadic life um, started, why it started, and how it's developed, all the different places we've gone to, mm -hmm. people we've met, and um, I hope we're going to know how it ends by then. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> we don't know where it's ending at the moment. We have a, a suspicion, but it's not 100% yet. <laughs> Are there certain cities you're more drawn to or would, would think more about landing in? Well, there's um, a couple that we, you know, the ones that we go to twice are places that for us are interesting. So it's kind of narrowing down more and more. Mm. And in between we have tours where we go to a lot of other ones that we haven't seen. So it's kind of like sifting through everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. But you know, it has to have a couple of elements. You have to be able to survive. Mm -hmm. It has to have a, a surrounding that supports the arts that we do, mm -hmm. and it has to have at least a couple of people that we know. Yeah. You know, to kind of like to start from the very beginning to go somewhere we don't know anybody, that wouldn't really make sense. Right. So it has right. to have those three components. So we're looking. Cool, cool. Good. Well, Nashville's <laughs> great. Yeah, we like it here. <laughs> we're here for the second time. Ooh, <laughs> we're moving up the list. Yeah. <laughs> Any observations about Nashville? Um, I really like the laid backness here. Ah. Like I have the feeling that people are comfortable. You know, they're not like, like that. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like.
like it. I like we like the um, what's it called the climate. Oh, that's the other thing that we have to have in our in our new uh, climate that's more warm than cold, because in Berlin it always rains. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold. It's got Siberian weather there, right? Oh dear. Yeah. So <laughs> it's warm here a lot. We have yeah. snow sometimes about an inch, and everyone freaks out. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and I like that it's a musician and arts town. You mm -hmm. know? We were here two days, and every time we see somebody jogging or doing something, our, our, um, our friends are like, oh, that's that musician, and that's that musician, and that. It's, like, it's kind of like Berlin in that way. Berlin's, ah. Everybody's a musician or an artist. Cool. Everybody. Everybody. Yes. <laughs> you hear people even who have other jobs, they're also a musician. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I once, you know, met this really nice doctor and I was like, oh, it must be so interesting to be a doctor. And he's like, no, actually I'm a cello player. <laughs> of course. <laughs> one let down. <laughs> Everyone does more than one thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, awesome. We're so glad you're here Thank and you that you showed with us. And we hope you'll come back again and have another show sometime. I would love to. Yeah. It'll be a third visit here, though. You yeah. might end up living here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Do you want to say anything about your recording or anything or your band or. No. no? Are you sure? <laughs> say something about Nashville. <laughs> um, well, you know, as, as a musician, I have a you always wanted to come here. I've heard so much about it and uh, when my friend Dwayne moved here uh, a couple of years ago I was waiting for the opportunity to come down yeah. and so we were here last year and it was nice and uh, anyway I'm, I'm very fond of the American South. Really? I, yes, I love the South. Well, what do you love about it? Um, what Danielle said I, I really the, I like the laid backness of, of place, and um, I uh, I like the uh, friendliness, the hospitality, mm -hmm. and uh, and the manners. I must say. Oh I'm, really? Uh, yes, oh. I, uh, I I like the way people treat each other here. It's, we're a pretty <laughs> friendly place. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the food, right? And the food. The food. Well, yeah, the food is great. Not this food, food, but real food. <laughs> <laughs> This is great, but you, you want fried chicken or something. Um, <laughs> some sweet tea. <laughs> so what is your band called again? Einstürzende Neubauten. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been around for 32 years. Oh, my goodness. in 1980 when I was 15. And, um, yeah, and I do all kinds of things. I write film music and um, we, Danielle and I, uh, create these programs that we tour with and that we release, and uh, that's what we do. Cool, cool. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're here. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And we'll we'll see you again next time. All right. Yay.